Your host today is Willie Kwaisiho from Solomon Islands, working and living in the UK since 1997. Our first prayer. May I speak in the name of the living God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Friends, in the light of what is happening in our nation and around the world, I want to share with you something very dear and close to my heart. But first, our historical link began in 1849, when the first Bishop of New Zealand, George Augustus Selwyn, visited the Melanesian Islands and brought the first Christians that he baptized to Auckland, New Zealand, to train and then send them back to evangelize their own people to believe and follow the good news of Jesus Christ. 150 years later, in 1999, the first Melanesian priest appointed to hold the title of parish priest and rector in the United Kingdom. I retired in January 2019, but still living in Cheshire and doing assistant bishop's work in Chester Diocese. I now invite you to open your Bibles to the Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 12, verses 28 to 34. You can also find that in the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 22, verses 34 to 40, and St. Luke chapter 10, verses 25 to 28. I read from the Good News Bible. A teacher of the law was there who heard the discussion. He saw that Jesus had given the Sadducees a good answer, so he came to him with a question, which commandment is the most important of all? Jesus replied, The most important one is this. Listen, Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And the second most important commandment is this. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. There is no other commandment more important than these two. The teacher of the law said to Jesus, Well done, teacher. It is true, as you said, that only the Lord is God, and that there is no other God but He. And man must love God with all his heart, with all his mind, and with all his strength. And he must love his neighbor as he loves himself. It is more important to obey these two commandments than to offer animals and other sacrifices to God. Jesus noticed how wise his answer was, and so he told him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. There is a discussion between Jesus and the Sadducees concerning life after death. And a law teacher was there and saw so how clever Jesus was in answering the Sadducees. He too wanted to test Jesus with his question, which commandment is the most important? And Jesus replied, the most important one is this, listen Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. There is no commandment more important than these two. The young lawyer even congratulated Jesus for his beautiful answer. And Jesus noticed how wise the young lawyer was, said, You are not far from the kingdom of God. The point here is that there is a key to all of us in living life that is pleasing to God. Number one, 
loving God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, with all our strength. Number two, loving our neighbor with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, with all our strength. And when we do that, we are not far from the kingdom of God, says Jesus. Now, many people, including us Christians, find no problem with loving God, but we find it great difficulty in loving our neighbor. You see, huma humanity is so diverse. We have so many different races, language, beliefs, customs and cultures, people with knowledge, those who have little. There are different heights and different sizes, people with disabilities, people with different sexual orientations, food preference, characters and behaviors. The other is that we share this planet Earth with other creatures as well. They too are our neighbors, like the elephants, the giraffes, rhinos, lions and monkeys, horses and pigs, donkeys, sheep and cattle, different dogs and cats, and other crawling creatures. Then there are other large and small creatures like the whale, turtle, shark, and other fish that swim in the sea. They too are our neighbors. The birds of the air. They too are our neighbors. The different oceans and seas. The rivers and lakes. The land, trees and forest. Different plants. These are our neighbors. In this world, no country lives in isolation, for we all share boundaries with each other by land or sea. But instead of living a life of, with good neighbors, we are so busy building warships and fighter planes to bomb and to destroy each other with warfare. Is that loving God and neighbor when we throw poisoned in our rivers and seas, the pollution of the air and the waste in, of plastics in our seas and fishing nets, long lines that affect so many creatures in the sea? Is that loving God and neighbor when we put too many satellite stations in space? So even many miles above us is already full of floating waste. Is it loving God when we exploit God's creation by overharvesting the natural resources and the minerals? God has not given us humans the mandate to exploit or destroy His creation. But we may be caretakers, carers and good stewards of His creation so that other generations after us, they too need to enjoy God's world. And so friends, whatever continent, country, island, culture or race, we all belong to this one world. The God has given us two most important commandments, to love God and to love neighbor. And when we understand these two commandments and obey them, then we are not far from the kingdom of God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you taught us that love is the fulfilling of the law. Help us to love you and each other as you have loved us in your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, God our Lord Jesus Christ, bless you and remain with you this day and forevermore. Amen.